What's going on? My name is Roman. Welcome to Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Now, on today's episode, you can see me. Uh, most of me, anyways. Not all of me. Look, I got a Red Ranger Legacy helmet, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, really quick, just looking at the front of the box, we have Red Ranger helmet, really nice gold letters. Uh, down here off to the side, it says premium display stand included, which we will also take a look at. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is it on the head. Uh, second thing we're going to take a look at is the rest of the packaging, which you have a front, front view, uh, side view, long ways. You get a nice Red Ranger picture here. Another Red Ranger on the back. So let's go ahead and open this up. Barcode on the bottom. Let's take a look. So it has a really nice, easy door that opens right here on the side to reveal it in kind of like an eight carton cardboard. I guess this is where I should probably start standing up. So we're gonna take off the first portion of the eight carton cardboard and you can see that there is uh, a portion cut out for the visor. So it has a very deliberate uh, setup. Looking at it from the inside, you see the helmet comes covered in plastic. There was other plastic included. I've already taken this out, but I just wanted to redo this for you guys just to show you, uh, just to show you what to expect. Let's go ahead, taking this out. Oops, there's pieces in there. Let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic. Uh, the man of the hour, the Red Ranger helmet. Put the plastic in here. It also comes with a hairnet. A hairnet will go into the helmet. It comes with this. This is the actual stand for the helmet. Uh, the upper part and the lower part is right here and it says Red Ranger. It also says Mighty Morphin at the top. So very nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of the packaging. Um, and we will take a look at this later. But first, the helmet. And that's why you can see me. That's why I'm here with you. This is fun because this is not something that we usually get to do. Um, really quick, let's build the stand. Super easy. This is a very lightweight. Uh, it doesn't feel too expensive. Uh, actually, this part feels a little bit better. But this is just a very lightweight base, which is fine because this is a lightweight helmet. Uh, you shouldn't need much more than this to support it. There's a groove where it should line up. So there's no mistake on how this goes together. Set that down. I like to put the hairnet right here in this little cutout section. And then the helmet will rest right across here. Put that there. And it actually looks really nice on this display stand. I mean, when talking about movie props and show props, people will pay how much for excuse me, something like that. Uh, this I've seen everywhere from $72 on Amazon to $100 on Toys R Us. So I'm not entirely sure where the market stands on this, but I mean, getting a stand with the helmet for that cost, it's really nice. Let's go ahead and take the helmet off and put the helmet on. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, but I have all this hair here. So we're definitely gonna need So, hairnet on, Lunch Ladies Collectible Coliseum, nothing wrong with that. Alright, so, the thing about the helmet is that there's these clips right here on the side, and there's this big seam that runs up the top of the helmet, it's going to pull apart from right here at the top. So the back's going to pull up, the front's going to pull up, it's going to stay connected right here. So we're going to take this clip, unclip it, work it off, take this clip, and clip it, work it off, and you can see here from the middle, or you can see here what is going on. So it's very basic on the inside, an adjustable hat type deal. You see the square at the top of the helmet where the base goes. It's a good size. If you adjust it correctly, it should fit It'll, it'll look like it fits the way that it's supposed to. If you don't adjust it and it's really big and it's falling all over your head, it's not gonna look good. You're supposed to adjust it, so I suggest you probably do that. 
do that. Um, looking at the paint job overall, really nice. Uh, they hid the air, the air slits, the breathing holes, really well in this. Uh, the silver looks great across the teeth. There's very minimal paint errors. There's a little splash of silver somewhere, but honestly, I tried picking it off with an X-Acto knife, and I think I probably got most of it off. Um, the silver around the mouth, the mouth sculpt itself looks really nice. Just the helmet is spot on from what I remembered from the show. And I still have the hair net on, I totally forgot. They've accented these lines with black. And it really makes them stand out. I really like this a lot. So let's check this out on. So it's already adjusted for me. And for me, the hairnet really helps because I have hair. Lots of it. Uh, you clip the clips again and you just push it forward. You hear that it clicked. Um, yeah, and here is the helmet. Now, I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm going to do my best to talk well enough for you to hear me. Welcome to Red Ranger tonight. I really like this helmet. Uh, it's easy to see out of this whole visor. You cannot see my eyes, but I can see you, and it feels really good on my head. Now, it's going to be hot if I'm talking and I'm breathing and I'm hyperventilating. But here's the thing. Very breathable. You can go like that and, you know, here's my mouth. Very easy to take off. Uh, claustrophobia is not a factor for me in this helmet. nice secure snap. I really like this. It feels good all the way around, nice and smooth. Um, I think it fits good at the neckline, being able to adjust the head depth and then the width. Um, I really like this helmet. I don't have very many complaints other than the fact that I don't have a full Ranger suit. I do have the Legacy uh, Communicator, which you saw very early on in one of the first reviews. This helmet is fantastic. I like this one a lot. I don't know if they're going to do any more of these, or if they have done any more of them. I would really like to see a Green Ranger, a White Ranger, really all the Rangers. I don't know how well the rest of them would sell, but I know that hardcore Ranger fans would buy it. And hardcore Ranger fans are the ones that are buying these helmets. I like it a lot, it's comfortable, and I think it fits well. What do you think? I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Uh, it gets warm when you do all that talking. So, I know what I thought, but what did you think here at Roman Rose Collective Coliseum? I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing around so you can see what I see. We'll take a look at the box. We'll take a look at it on the stand. We'll take a closer look at it with its glorious paint job. Love me some Red Ranger Legacy Helmet. Let's go ahead, get up, do that. We're going to turn this thing around. Whoa, that's a really close Red Ranger helmet. Too close, in fact. So we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment. Whoa! I know, this is the dangers of recording live. So looking, looking at the helmet, I think they nailed the colors. Now I know it's hard to mess up silver and black, but you can definitely have way too... I guess metallic like you can have a silver that's like way overly metallic this gets the wash just right I feel like now at the bottom it does say Mighty Morphin uh, Red Ranger I like this one a lot so from head on this thing looks really really nice you see the black lines and the eyebrows of the T-Rex face the nose the head uh, the teeth look really, really awesome. 
looking at it from the side, you see the clip, and you see the nice contour above the neck and chin going around the back of the head. Also, the white and the silver, you see the silver's reflective and it kind of changes as I move it. Looks really great. The back of the helmet is smooth, and just because it's the back of the helmet, there's a little manufacturing mark. But just because it's the back doesn't mean the paint quality changes at all. Looks really, really nice. And this line up here is just a continuation of the lines from here. It's kind of hard to see at that angle. Being that we like collectibles, we want bang for our buck. Something that's going to last and something that, I mean, for $100 or less, this is absolutely worth your time and your money. It's really cool if you want it for cosplay or just regular display. I highly recommend this. Um, I don't know if there's an easier way to get one of these helmets. Don't pay $500. Do you, are you gonna have $500 worth of fun with a $500 helmet? This thing more than does the job adequately. It gives you the hairnet, and it gives you the two-piece stand, which, I mean, just comes, comes apart really easily. In case you wanna throw this back in the box, or don't feel like using it. Mighty Morphin Red Ranger right there. Has my fingerprints all over it. Looks great, we'll go ahead and throw that on the stand, and we'll take a look at the box. Loving me some Red Ranger helmet. What do you think so far here on Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum? Now, really quick, I'm going to replace uh, the helmet and stand with the box. So we can take a closer look at the beautiful description and beautiful art of what it is we are getting here in this legacy Red Ranger helmet. So this is made by Bandai, and it does say ages 15 and up. Now this is a big old box, it's a big big box, we're gonna have to scooch back for this one, I'm assuming. Whoa, that's as far back as we can go. This box is humongous. It's really hard to do anything with it, I mean... It's, it's hard to keep lying around the house, because it's it really is huge. Um, it has to fit the whole helmet in there. So here we have really nice legacy Red Ranger graphic. Red Ranger, Red Lightning. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the helmet. Um, however, looking at the buckle, it could be an actual picture from like the set from the show. Uh, that looks a little more real deal, Holyfield. Uh, here on the side, we have a side profile. And you get something here that says Red Ranger Jason. And I will focus on that, and you can pause it if you'd like to read it. It should be focused in pretty well. It says the same thing translated a few times, and then down here at the bottom, we have ourselves a picture of the Red Ranger Jason. So, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, looking at the back, it does have some specs for the helmet. Um, I know that there's a glare, but it says one size fits most. Um... Look, this is, it has a really big range on it. I don't know who this isn't going to fit, but if an NFL player wants a helmet, they're going to have to get one custom made or use their own. Show accurate reproduction and premium display stand included. Well, yeah, it's all true. Uh, looks good any way you look at it, especially from head on this display with these gold letters running across. The packaging looks really nice, and this is something that I wanted to save on purpose. Uh, opening it up, you see where you can store the helmet, it comes with the bag, you put everything in here real nice and easy. Pack it up, and uh, move on with some Red Ranger endeavors with your new Red Ranger helmet. So, yeah, what did you think here on Roman Rose Collective Coliseum? I love me some Red Ranger, and to be able to wear a Red Ranger helmet and mess around with it like this, this has been a childhood dream come true. So thank you, Bandai, for putting this out, and thank you to the wonderful members of Roman Rose Collective Coliseum for making another one of these dreams come true. Yes, this was sent in from a viewer from the Facebook group, Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Uh, if you wonder what all the hubbubaloo is about, go ahead and check us out. You're already here on YouTube. Might as well hop on over to another form of social sharing and check out Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum on Facebook. Man, 
This thing looks great. Let me know in the comments, do you have one of these? If you had one of these, would you go the extra mile and, and just get the suit and cosplay as the Red Ranger? I don't know if I have the Red Ranger body type, but I definitely have some Red Ranger drive. This thing is off the chain. I recommend this helmet for any Red Ranger fan, for any die-hard Power Ranger fan, or anyone who's looking for a really cool costume or something to kick off a man cave. Or a woman cave, or a cave cave, whatever. Just put this in your living room. Give this to somebody. If you want to surprise somebody and really wow them, like I said, I've seen this anywhere from $72 to $100. So do your shopping, look wisely, and uh, check back with us. Who knows what fun things we'll have next time here on Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. So until then, peace, love, and keep on collecting.